What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and today we're covering something really simple, short video, but pretty much how to use an EpiPen, right? You know, being a 68 Whiskey combat medic and you know, even in the civilian side as an EMT, it's uh, very good to know how to use one of these, right? But without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so like I was talking about, right, how to use an EpiPen, and uh, pretty much you see it all the time in the movies, stuff like that, you know, they just pull it out and stab them, and usually you see the person pull it out and give somebody to use it, or they tell them where it is, and mostly that's because in order to use an EpiPen or have an EpiPen, most of the times you have to be prescribed it, right, by a doctor, or uh, just uh, somebody that can write you a prescription, you don't want to be like just sticking people with something that they're not prescribed, you know, maybe if it's like an emergency, 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 you can, but that's pretty much what these things are for, for emergency use only, right? So even the, even when you use it, like on the EMT side, civilian side, like it's very good, you stick somebody with this, you want to call 911 after, get an ambulance in or out, so they can take that person, you know, to the next level of care, right? You stuck them, you know, you treated it, but uh, to start off, right, what are some of the reasons we would use an EpiPen, right? So pretty much what these are for, they're used to like treat severe allergic reactions for people that are going into like anaphylactic shock, right? Pretty much what this EpiPen does, right? Number one, it opens the airway, right? Like your lungs have like alveoli and pretty much it actually just like opens them up so you're able to like get that oxygen. One, it opens the airway. Two, it uh, increases blood pressure and heart rate, right? Three, it uh, treats you know that allergic reaction pretty much. Like so, if you're having the signs and symptoms, which we'll get into in a little bit of an allergic reaction, it pretty much like uh, reduces uh, the signs and symptoms of that allergic reaction. Right? It, sometimes it may not make it go away all at once, but it will, for the most part, get those signs and symptoms reduced, if not completely stopped. And number four, right? So pretty much it reduces swelling as well, right? Like you've seen people with allergic reactions, like their face puffs up, you know, they get like red, stuff like that, and they're just having a hard time, they start wheezing and things like that. Pretty much what it does, the epinephrine, is it reduces that swelling as well, which I guess would be a sign and symptom of the allergic reaction, right? So pretty much it would reduce that you know, as well as treating the other signs and symptoms. All right, so going into how to spot the signs and symptoms of an allergic reaction, right? So some signs of anaphylaxis, right, would be swollen tongue, swollen face, trouble breathing, itchy throat, vomiting, right? Wheezing is a good one as well, right? But those are just some things to look out for for somebody that might possibly be having an allergic, a severe allergic reaction, right? Because you have like minor allergic reactions, right? If somebody tells you like, oh yeah, you know, I'm like minorly allergic to something and they're not like dying pretty much, like they don't look like they're dying, do not give an EpiPen, right? Again, only for emergencies. You do not want to be sticking somebody that does not need to be stuck, right? So pretty much those are the signs and symptoms of a severe allergic reaction and pretty much uh, reasons and pretty much how the epinephrine works or the EpiPen works, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and put a little uh, how-to video on how to use this. This is a trainer EpiPen, right? So I'm going to film on my own thigh how to inject it, how it works and uh, just pretty much the instructions that you follow to administer this properly, right? All right, guys, so just a little how-to video. This is obviously a trainer EpiPen, right? It's not the actual um, legit EpiPen, right? This is what they use to train us. And uh, as you can see, it has the blue safety top, right? And then, you know, the orange tip in the front. And so pretty much it just has some pictures here and things like that. No medicine, no needle, again, because it is a trainer. On the back though, it actually gives you the step-by-step -step how to use the actual EpiPen, right? So step one, remove the blue top, right? That just pretty much locks the needle into place. And then number two is swing and push firmly orange tip against outer thigh, right? And so it clicks, you wanna hear that click. And then it has a three second uh, thing right here because when you hold it to the thigh, you want to hold it for approximately three seconds to stimulate the delivery of the drug. You don't want to stick it in there and immediately take it out because then it probably wouldn't allow all of the medicine to enter into the thigh. So step number three is 
uh, the orange tip will extend after use. So that's how you know it has effectively gone through and into the thigh. But pretty much, right, just to give you a little how-to, right, so blue top right here, take it off. I'll put that in my pocket. And then right here, so you either have your casualty standing up or laying down. I'll go ahead and just show you standing up. So pretty much you hold it like this and then take it over to the uh, casualty's thigh, right? And then you guys hear that click. So you, you wanna make sure you get on the, the outer thigh right here. This is a good spot. And so you heard that click, one, two, three. You know, you can hold it for a little more if you'd like. And then bam, it extends out. It means it's gone in. And then, you know, the signs and symptoms of the severe allergic reaction would uh, start to dissipate or be reduced. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. All right, guys, so there it is. That was the video, right? You hold it down, or first you take the top off, right? Because it's a little locked, right? You locate their thigh, right? Hold it firmly, right? They can be standing up, laying down, preferably lay them down. And then you stick it in the leg, right? You hear the click. Hold for more than three seconds, right? Because you want to allow that medication to travel through, right? And get actually get into the muscle or, you know, the thigh, the area that you're putting the EpiPen in. But um, yeah, guys, and then immediately call 911 if you're able to, if you're on the EMT side. And again, if you're uh, in the 68 Whiskey Combat Medic Healthcare Specialist side, you know, you'd probably be around a PA or something like that, or, you know, you'd call a medevac depending right just uh whatever the situation permits and uh things of that nature but i really hope you guys like this uh little informative how-to video right nothing too long i uh, just wanted to uh just pretty much make a video on how to use an EpiPen, right because not a lot of people know how to do it i personally have never given an actual EpiPen, right we've used the trainers that we have here right but uh it's very good knowledge it seems like a simple process you know as long as you're aware of what you're doing and how to uh, locate those signs and symptoms or you know identify those signs and symptoms I should say right um, you know you're better prepared for when the actual situation should arise but if you guys want more videos like this let me know down in the comment section below I'd be more than happy to make more content like this just for you guys and um, yeah make sure you guys like comment subscribe and please share these videos especially to your friends that you know are allergic to certain things right and if you guys are allergic to stuff you know comment it down below you know it's interesting to know what stuff people are allergic to but uh thank you guys and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one later